Good morning, welcome to today's 30 minute challenge where I try and recreate a famous website in just 30 minutes. On the left is my website, I've just installed WordPress. Over on the right we have the Tesla website. It has some interesting features which I'm gonna try and recreate. First is it has this sticky transparent navigation running all the way along the top here. And you'll see as I scroll, the images underneath take over the background. The other thing, it's got these two menu systems actually appearing up here. Here's one and here's the second one. So it's got two menu systems, which is quite interesting as well. The other thing that's happening here is we've got this snap to scroll. So as I scroll down, you'll see how it kind of snaps, well it would do normally, it snaps to the image underneath. And so I'm gonna have a go at doing that. I think I can probably do that with some CSS. I might have to hunt around to find the right CSS, but that'd be a nice thing to do as well. Over on the left here, we've got my site and I've installed a theme. That's all I've done so far, which is actually a theme that we've created called well, we haven't got a name for it, but it's basically we've taken Generate Press and we've added some template parts to it. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this probably this week to show you how this works. But you kind of take a classic theme like Generate Press and you can blockify it so you can do more stuff with it. And you'll see here we've actually added a header template part, a footer template part, and a 404 template part as well. And that just gives me more control over and above what we can normally do in Generate Press, certainly the free version. And I'm going to need that if I want to do this snazzy transparent top thingy navigation along the top here. So I'm gonna to start to build the site. I've got 30 minutes, let's go. First thing I need to do is actually create my base home page. So I'm just gonna go add new page and all I'm gonna do is call this home. I'm not gonna put any content in this whatsoever at the moment, I'm just gonna publish this by clicking publish up here. And then I'm gonna to go to reading settings uh, down here and I'm going to set that page as my new home page so I go to a static page here and just select home page basically this is determining that that page is now the front page of my website as before it was actually showing my latest post so now when I go to my site here we'll see the home page is indeed the home page next up we need to make a couple of changes within generate press we've got this sidebar here which we don't want and I also want the entire background to be white and I think I can do that in Generate Press by going Customize and then going Layout and then we want to go Sidebars and Sidebar Layout here we want to go No Sidebar so that will get rid of the sidebar and then the other thing I want to do is I want to get the rid of the grey background colour so I'm going to go Colours, Body and Background I'm just going to make that white so now we have basically a clean canvas to work with I also want to get rid of this home page, but I'll actually do that within the page itself, I think, but we'll crack on with that. So now I'm going to start to build um, the navigation, but to start with, I do actually want to grab some assets. So I'm going to save some of these images. I'm just going to save this Model X image to start with. So I'm right clicking on it and I'm going Model X and I'm just going to nab these from the website so I can actually use them on my site. I'll start with this one first. And I want to add that to the home page because then it'll, once I've added it to the home page, I can see whether what I'm doing is working. Now, I think I can probably use the cover block for this entire front page over here on the Tesla website. I think these can all be cover blocks because the cover block, while I love the cover block, it lets me add a background image. And I can also add text within that uh, container that goes within that background image. The other cool thing that I can do in the cover block is make it full height which I think we're gonna to need to do if we wanna have the cover block um, appearing behind the navigation. So I'm just gonna upload one of my images, the Model X one, over here. And I'm gonna click on it, and I'm gonna choose this full height option here. I'm also gonna get rid of the overlay opacity. So you can set an overlay opacity with the cover block. So I wanna get rid of that. And I'm also gonna change the position of my title. You'll see it's actually in the center here whereas on the Tesla website, it's up here. Now, you have this little matrix option up here, that little, those dots, which let you select where you put the title. Now, that's gonna to be too high, I think, uh, but we'll come back to that later. Let's just go back to the right one here. I put it in the wrong order, but we can change this later. And I'm just gonna write a title. Again, I'm really just writing this at the moment so I can position things. And then, what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna make this full width. And the other thing I want to do with this in, yeah, in Generate Press, you can actually, down here, you can disable elements. So I want to get rid of the, the title for this page. And let's go and have a look at this page. And it won't look anything like we want at the moment. We've got some issues, but I think we can probably fix these up by blockifying this top here. That's not too bad, We but now I want to start to change this navigation. Now, the next bit I'm going to show you, you can only do if you're using a block theme or you're using our version of Generate Press that we 
press that we blockified. I'm probably not gonna make this uh, available as a product, but I have made this available for Club Poodle members for free. So if you do wanna access it, you can job, uh, join Club Poodle and download it from there. I will put a link to that in the description below. So I'm gonna go appearance, and you'll see now we've got this template parts because we've turned this theme partly into a block theme. So if I click on there, you can see the three template parts that we've added to Generate Press. We want to start with the header one. And here we go. And now you, you'll see that it's actually created this in blocks. So we've actually got the normal Generate Press header, but it, now it's blockified. So pretty much any layout you want to achieve, you can now build because it's now in blocks. So for me, this is a nice compromise of how you might get from having a classic theme to a block theme, or you might stay with Generate Press and just use this version. Right, so the first thing I need to do is create a menu. I've actually taken a screenshot of the Tesla website over on the right, just so I can actually see everything I need to see, because when I'm squeezing it, it's actually turning into a mobile menu. So the first thing I need to do here is create a new menu. Click on Create a New Menu, and that will actually create a new menu. It takes a few seconds, you see it whirring away. And now I can add my menu items, so I'm just gonna add these as custom links today over here on the right. And I'm just gonna add a few of them so I don't spend forever doing it. Uh, so I'm just gonna type in model, this is how you create custom links by the way, uh, model S, is that my eyes aren't good enough to see what we've got here? Yeah, model S, like so. And let's add that one as well. Okay, that one's got draft after it. I'll change that later though. Okay, and the other thing I want to do, I want to make the whole background to this group transparent. And we do that by selecting the group block over here on the left. And then we're gonna click on our little setting sign just to see that. And we wanna come down to background and I think we can set that as a background. You see I can set any any um, background color, but actually I wanna set that as a transparent background. So I click on this little slider here and just drag that to the left. You won't see anything because it's transparent. So looking at the website, I still have an issue in that the head is still white and this section here it actually isn't appearing behind it. So there's two ways I think I can probably achieve this. I can add a negative margin to this first cover block here, but I also suspect that when I add the snap to scroll um, CSS, that might also do it as well, but I'll show you both ways, or I'll try, I'll try and do both ways just to see how this flies. So I just need to add a, a class to this particular block here, and that's gonna push it up in a, with a bit of CSS in a second. So select the block itself, Probably using the list view is the best way to do it over here. Click on the list view icon here, select the cover block and come down here and go to advanced and then just give this a uh, CSS class. I'm gonna call this scroller. You can call this whatever you like and I will make all this CSS available to you if you do wanna recreate this on your own sites. So I'm just gonna go off and add a CSS plugin. That just is a place where I can put my CSS and this is a free one. I think there's one called custom CSS, which I'll go and nab. Not nab, I'll install it. Uh, any of these are good. This one here I'm gonna use. This is just because in block themes, uh, you don't have a place where you can put CSS and this is a place where you can put any custom CSS you want. And here is the CSS. I've been plowing the internet to try and find the right CSS and get this working. It's taken me about 20 minutes. I'm behind time now. I've gotta really hurry up here, but this is the CSS we need. I've actually found the snap to scroll viewport CSS as well. So if you just copy this exactly as it is, this will work for you. Just talk, I'll just talk you through what we've got here. The, the top bit is the HTML bit here. This is some CSS that's gonna do that smooth scroll to snap. It's gonna scroll to each particular section within the page. You need two bits really, the HTML which sets the main container. And then the, you, this is the class you actually add on each of the cover blocks. We're gonna use cover blocks for each of our sections. This is the class you need to add. That basically says, right, when somebody scrolls down, I want it to snap to the position where that particular block starts, in this case, the cover block. And then here, we've also applied a margin top just to one of our cover blocks, the top cover block. Actually, I need to add some more CSS because the other cover blocks don't need that margin. So I'm gonna add some more in a minute. My site's on the left and the Tesla real site is on the right. We have an issue, Houston, we have a problem. And that is, can you see how my navigation's gone? And that's because, it gets a little bit hard to explain this, but because the first cover block is set to scroll to snap to the top of it, we basically lost our navigation. But actually we can fix this by adding our sticky navigation anyway, which we need to do to our site. Now you could do this with some CSS if you wanted to. There's a CSS property called position sticky, uh, but we are actually going to do this. Let's make this a bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. Using a cool plugin 
called Sticky Block, which I've covered before in my uh, channel. Uh, it's a really cool little plugin and you can use it in lots of creative ways. It's this one here called Sticky Block. Again, it's a free one. I've added that and that lets you add stickiness to any block you like. So we just need to go to Template Parts now, and which is here, and which is here. And then we go to Header. Now once we're in header, let's click on the list view so we can see what we're doing. All we've got at the moment is a group. So we want to go insert after or before. Let's go insert before actually. And then we're going to go forward slash sticky. And that just lets us add the sticky block um, into this section here. And now we can just drag, drag this group block here underneath that sticky block. This might take a little bit of trial and error to do this but you have to sort of drag it and then nudge it to the right and you'll see that little blue line kind of indents when you know you've done it and now we've got the group block sitting within or underneath the sticky block and if we click on the sticky block you'll see over here you've got some options I'm not going to go through these at the moment actually you've got the set index one which is pretty useful as well you might find that some things disappear behind it and set index is a bit like layering so you can set which one is the front which one is the back so let's go and check out how that's worked, if that's worked, and how we're getting on. We should have rock and roll. We do have now, we have our navigation showing. This is obviously an issue, this section here. This is the page title showing too high. We're gonna move that down. And we've got our menu appearing now as well. So we've got the main sort of structure right. We just need to do a bit of finessing with this bit here. So what I'm gonna do for that bit, just for ease of use, I'm going to actually add some a spacer block before it. Uh, so I'm actually going to go hit return and then go forward slash spacer, not Spotify, spacer. And I can do this by eye at the start. In fact, let's make, let's make this 200 pixels. You see, as you drag it, you get this little, if you watch up there, you get this little pixel guide to show you how things are going. It might not be perfect, but it might be close enough for now. Not bad at all. And then the other thing we need to do is we need to start to finesse this navigation along the top. Again, because we're using template parts, we're just using the block editor to do this. Let's make this bigger so we can see what we're doing. So appearance, template parts, click on header, and we want to upload a logo. So again, I would use the list view extensively for this bit. I'm going to go insert after and you, you might see the formatting goes a bit funny here and that's because I'm working on a smaller screen than I normally would. And then all I'm gonna do is here is go forward slash site logo and I'm gonna add my site logo by uploading it. I've already saved, I think, the Tesla image somewhere on my desktop, which was a bit cheaty. <laughs> there it is, there's the Tesla logo. And I'm gonna get rid of the site title logo, site title block over here and that looks about the right size actually. You can always make it a bit bigger or a bit smaller, literally just by dragging this little box here. Then we've got this um, navigation over here on the right. Now we've actually got two navigations. You'll see if I make this bigger, we've got two menu systems essentially. The other great thing about um, blockifying the header, by the way, is you can actually determine which of these navigation or which blocks show on mobile. You've got complete control over what blocks you show on mobile, which I will attempt to show you if I have time. What I want to do here is change the spacing a little bit. You see you can change the alignment, the justification here. It keeps on flicking to the mobile menu, which I don't really want it to. There you go. So that's, that's more aligned now. And you can also change the block spacing here. So I can just drag it a bit further away from that logo, which is kind of where I want to get to, I think. Let's go and check that out. I always think it's a good idea to go and check your work as you go. Just make sure the editing styles are actually reflecting that's not too far away. I'd probably want to, yeah, that's not too bad. I probably want to have a bit more space there. I'm just going to go forth and add those other menus now, and then we'll add the second one. Okay, so I've added all the menu items for along the top. For the first menu, I need to add this second menu. I think I probably want to reduce the gapping and the block spacing within the actual navigation row itself as well. So we'll go back to template parts and just fix those up. And then we should really have the structure of that menu system sorted out. So again, appearance template parts. Let's go back to header and let's see if we can change the block spacing of the navigation block. So I'm going to use the list view again 
just to find I've actually selected the right thing. And then we come down here, we should see we've got block spacing here and you can see we've got this little slide here so we can actually start to, again, I'm losing the preview. So let's take that down to I don't know, 30 pixels. That might be enough. I'm not going to preview this one just for speed. And then after this one, I want to add another navigation block essentially. So I'm going to click on the three dots here, go insert after, and then I'm going to go forward slash navigation and it's going to load in the existing navigation block which is clearly not right but you'll see down here you've got this setting in your block settings panel over on the right which lets us do some cool things the most important of which is create a new menu so this allows us to create multiple menu systems using the block system so click on create a new menu and then basically we re repeat the process so tesla's website's over on the right mine's over on the left there's theirs Let's make this resize this so we can see what mine looks like. It's pretty close, isn't it? It's not too bad. And uh, there's a few little differences, but I'm fairly happy overall. Right, so it's from the top. We're going to start with the Model 3. I've added the title and a bit of text. We need to add these buttons down here. Now, I can't think any other way of positioning these because we've already positioned these fellas than the spacer block. Then There's probably a more elegant way of doing this, but I can't think of one in the time I've got. So I'm just going to add a spacer block here. And I'm going to do this by eye. And the space of block just lets you add space into your pages. And then I'm going to hit return. And underneath that, I'm going to add the buttons block. So forward slash buttons. And then we're going to go custom order. I'm going to get rid of this radius in a minute. And then I'm going to add another button here. Just by hitting return, that will do it. Uh, existing inventory. Inventory, if I spot that right. And then I'm going to customize each bu button just by clicking on it. And I'm going to get rid of this border. Uh, just by dragging it to the right first and then dragging it to the left because it looks like there was a border set. So even though you don't see it down here, a radius, I'm just going to get rid of it. And then this one here, I want to change the background color, which is kind of, it's an off-white, I'd call it. Uh, have I got one of those? Probably not. That's not bad, actually. And then the text, I'm just going to change to, it's kind of a gray. I'm not doing this very, with much precision at the moment, but it's kind of close enough. Right, let's go and have a look at that. Pretty good. Actually, if you look closely at these buttons though, can you see they've got these little rounded edges? So I probably should have added, you know, mine are completely square. I probably should have added a little bit of radius on each of those buttons, which I will do. Then we go down to the Model Y. Let me just save that image. So actually the quickest way to do this is just to go edit page and just basically duplicate the one you've already got. So all I've got is my one cover block. I'm gonna select it. Let's use the list view so we can be really sure I'm doing it. And we're gonna click on the three dots and then we're gonna duplicate it here. So now we've got two Model 3s, uh, but I just need to change a few things on this one. I'm gonna change the background image. Let's select that. That'll load in here. And then I just need to change the text here. And then basically I'm just gonna repeat that process for each of the sections. So here's the finished result. I ran out of time in the end, 30 minutes is up. My attempt is on the left. The Tesla website's on the right. It's pretty good. I've got a few issues. But I've got the main things working. I've got the transparent sticky menu working, which is really cool with the background image coming behind it. I've got things like these spacings here aren't quite right and the width of the buttons aren't quite right. I've run out of time. But I've got this lovely snap, snap to scroll working really nicely just using that CSS. Again, a link in the description to the CSS if you want to get hold of it. And you'll see as I scroll down, let's go to the Tesla one, scroll down again. It's pretty good. For 30 minutes work, I think it's a really professional looking website. So I'm pretty happy all in all. The Generate Press Blockified theme is now available to all Club Poodle members. There's a link in the description below where you can download and have a play with it. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you found that useful. There's some really cool stuff in there, I think, in terms of what you can do now with the full site editor. If you enjoyed this video, could you hit that like button now because it really, really, really helps spread the word of the channel and this video. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. To see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification icon and you'll be notified every time I release a new video. Keep well, watch one of these two videos and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.